Oh my gosh, okay, so I decided I want Hyper Beam, which is one of the three TMs they offer, and I believe it was 5,500 coins. I currently have 30, and I could spend 1,000 for 50 coins. So I'm just gonna have to be spamming this until I'm dead. So I'll see you guys later. This might mess up the in-game time a little bit. But an om I'm on an emulator. And it's just to <laughs> preserve some of my sanity here. So we're almost done. This was such a terrible design. <laughs> All right, last one, I believe. There we go. Okay. Let me move the mouse off the screen. Hopefully that wasn't actually recorded. And now we get to pick up our TM. Alright, so this one. Yes. That's it. I have it, right? <laughs> Alright. Hyper Beam. Good. So, like, everyone can learn Hyper Beam. But I think I want to give it to Abele. Because right now, Abele doesn't really have a lot of moves for himself. Like, a lot of standout moves right now. Um, especially since we're just kind of waiting on that, that flamethrower, you know? But he has the highest attack, I'm pretty sure, the highest attack of all my other Pokemon. Now, Hyper Beam is a physical attack. Why not give it to Abele? You know, like, people might jump to Carpe, like, oh, a Gyarados with Hyper Beam, so iconic. But Gyarados already has, like, Hydro Pump and Surf, you know, other just powerful moves that are also affected by Stab. Why not, why not give Abele something? So here you go, buddy. This is just for you. All right, delete another move. Yes, we want to delete... Now, I know that this probably should be obvious as, like, sand attack, but I'm tempted to do bite. No, I'll get- I mean, sand attack- again, it's just so overpowered, like, in this game. Sand attack's just ridiculous. I will get rid of it, though. Because I'm probably not gonna use it, is the thing. If I kept it, I just probably wouldn't use it. You know, though, here's something else. Able is level 43. You know, first, before I do anything else, I should go make sure that I don't have... <laughs> I don't have Fire Blast in the PC. Because I don't think I actually checked. I don't remember checking. We're gonna check. But my thought, just to finish it, was Ableist 43. I think I have seven rare candies. I think I know where an eighth one is in the game. I could level him up to 51 and then just train and level him up one more time, you know? And that would get him to 52 and he'd learn Flamethrower. Would that be worth it? Would it be mean to keep all my other Pokemon in the dust? I mean, if I'm being honest, I wasn't really gonna use those rare candies. I just typically don't. But maybe it would be better to actually use them in this case in order to get a good move like that. Let's see, I'm gonna take this one right before the secret key too, because you never know. Now let's see, what are these? Not that one. Fire Blast! Hey, Okay, Fire Blast, there you go. However, now let's think about this one. I mean, yes, but... Let me go to Bulbapedia again really quick. Well, to go back to my thought about using Rare Candies on Able to get him up there, I was thinking about Yellow Version again. Yellow Version, it's 52 to get Flamethrower, and Red, Blue, Green, it's 54. So I would need 11 Rare Candies, or 10, and then, you know, leveling him up myself once. And I don't think I'm have I don't think I have the patience to do that. Um, so Fire Blast here though, I could replace Ember, but I think it would be nicer to have like one weak physical move, one strong physical move, one weak special move, one strong special move. So I'm going to delete Bite. Bite is only 20 power more than Quick Attack, and Quick Attack has the priority. Um, so I don't know. You know, it's a it's a balanced enough decision for me to be like, yeah, sure, go ahead, Riz. You know, go with it. Um, and what was this last TM that I pulled out? I mean, I know I pulled it out for the sake of looking at it specifically. It's Skull Bash, right? I don't... Mm, I don't think I want it. There we go. 44, 41, 43, 42, 42. I don't know if there's any particular reason I would want to level them up just kind of individually. I'm just thinking about my rare candies at this point. First, let's fly out back to the Indigo Plateau. Because I think we're ready now, pretty much, to take on the Elite Four. 
I mean, maybe we're not actually prepared, but I think that that's what we're gonna be doing next. You know what I mean? Okay, so I now have, I deposited Birdie Face, I pulled out Titan, and I pulled out all of my rare candies. I don't think anyone needed healing, but just in case, we're getting that taken care of right away so I don't forget about it later. Um, another thing I want to make sure we have before I forget about it is I want to make sure that we have plenty of, like, max revives. Can't buy max revives. We can buy normal revives. I should probably see how many I have. Let's see how many max revives and full restores I have. So, um, full restore I have three. I should buy more of those. And revive. Did I say max again? I meant normal revive. I have one max. And I have 34 revives. Okay, I should be good on revives. I hope. Here. Now I should be. We have 40. And we got a good number of those now. We already had a lot of max heal, or full heals. Okay. But if I'm looking at them again, let's see, 42, 42, 43, 41, 44, 40. All these numbers are just meshing together on the screen for me. But they're all in their 40s, all in the low 40s. Um, I have seven candies, I believe. I could just distribute them, try to balance the levels out a little bit. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. Actually, hold on. Let me see how close are some of these Pokemon to leveling up, you know? 2,504 to level up. 1,192. 5,000. <laughs> of, of course he does, right? 4,000. 295? Dang. Let's just switch you up. Let's just go, like, back in. You, you fight one Pokemon, and then you level up. I'm actually gonna go do that. He's just gonna go fight a Pokemon really quick and level up. <laughs> and with that, Dino grew to level 43. Ah, see, it was worth checking. Growth. Would it be good for him to learn growth? Let me, let me Bulbapedia growth! Maybe I'll regret this. Maybe I'll never use it. But I'm gonna replace Vine Whip. A apparently, in first gen, Vine Whip was only 35 damage. That doesn't seem like a lot. You know, Quick Attack is 40 damage. But why am I fighting again? You know, whatever. It'll, I guess he'll get a little more experience. And then I want to check their stats. You know, just my Pokemon stats again. I think if they're close to a level, I'm just going to grind a little bit to get them leveled up. Um, and then, once people are fresh... Because let's see where Dino is right now. You know, at, they actually wouldn't take too long to level some of these guys up. You know, the responsible thing to do for the sake of this challenge, to make sure we don't lose it, is off camera to grind a little bit in this cave to get some of them a higher level. I mean, if we can get them to like mid-50s, especially for the sake of Able to get him Flamethrower, that would be good. I think that's the responsible thing to do, so... At this point, that's my current plan. Off camera, I am going to keep on grinding these guys. I am gonna get them up. I don't know to what level. I'm not gonna make any promises because it's a whole team of six I'm talking about here. But thankfully, with my versatile team, it seems like we should be able to take these Pokemon out Wow. Razor Leaf did not do a lot. Let's, let's check. I was gonna say let's check Cop, but he just got confused. Marcel, you're getting out there. What I'm saying is... I'm surprised by how much experience these guys are actually giving us, and I think that it would be more worthwhile um, for us to not end the challenge prematurely, like right at the Elite Four, by being rash and running right into it. I think it would be better to actually take our time, grind a little bit in here, and then take on the challenge, you know, like, finish the no capture challenge with a bang by actually beating it. <laughs> so let's take care of this Machop, then let's save the game, and then we'll wrap things up here.
You know what? I'm just gonna talk a little bit more while I'm here. Just save some time. So, this challenge, while, while it's not done yet, but it is coming to a close, I just wanna say, you know, it has been fun. I've said this before at the end of the, the recording sessions and everything, I just wanna reiterate, I think that it's been um, a lot of fun. Um, I like I like the Pokemon games in general. Again, this Gen 1, one of my favorites for sure now. And challenges are kind of just a, a neat way to, to take a game that you're already familiar with, a game that you already enjoy, and you know, put a little twist on it. Um, that's not to say that at times they can't get frustrating, the challenges you do. But there's a certain thrill of figuring it out and, you know, actually doing it. Obviously, it's harder. It's a challenge. It's supposed to be. Um, it limits you, it tests you, and, you know, both your skill, your knowledge, and your patience. I say both, and then I list three things, but you know what I mean. So, I get why challenges are not for everyone. Um, but I hope that you guys have enjoyed this series on my channel. And, uh, if you have, of course, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Let me know about parts that you particularly enjoyed. Again, the reason that I do, you know, these Let's Plays is I like having experiences and being able to share in them with other people. Um, so if you guys want to let me know things that you've particularly enjoyed about this or that, you know, I'd be happy to hear it. Um, okay, we didn't find a Pokemon, so let's just save here. Okay, I don't think we've played quite that long. When we started this, it was at like 11 hours-ish, I think. I've been recording for, let's see... Oh, two and a half hours, actually. <laughs> but the game corner speeding that up to buy those coins, I think it added a little bit more time um, than we actually had. But with that, we're calling it here. Cue outro, go!